Today we are going to talk about sleep and how it is vital and crucial for your body and your overall well-being. You need eight hours sleep of quality rest every night. Without the adequate amount of sleep, your central nervous system will be put under a lot of strain from the everyday tasks. It's also really interesting to know that we sleep for one third of our entire lives. So let's have a look at it in a bit more detail and let's make sure it gets the importance it deserves. The important stages of sleep are stage one, two, three, and rapid eye movement, also known as REM. REM is one of the most important parts of sleep, meaning rapid eye movement. This is where you your eyes will be flickering and your dreams will take place. The more times you experience rapid eye movement at night, the longer you tend to stay in this stage. And this is where your deepest sleep is and where your body is practically paralyzed and where most of the recovery takes place. This will have massive benefits to your central nervous system. Some people will struggle with sleep due to their lifestyle habits, i.e. maybe what mm -hmm. they're drinking and what they're actually up to during that day. So what I recommend is monitor your drinking intake, whether it's alcohol or caffeine, and make sure you are not overstimulated. When you're not in rapid eye movement, you're in one of the latter stages of sleep, one, two or three. It's totally fine to be going up and down through the stages and potentially this is where you probably be, you will wake up. It's totally fine, it's totally normal, but it just depends on how many times it happens. If it's happening more than three or four times in the night, then it might be a specific issue and something that needs to be rectified. How can we influence our sleep and minimise any disturbances during the night? It's paramount that we get to deep sleep, so here are a few tips. Focus on going to sleep a few hours before midnight. The more hours you get before midnight, the more quality sleep you'll get and hopefully you'll get into them deeper stages, which is really important. If you can't sleep, don't just lie there. Get out of bed, go into another room, go for a walk around the house, have a drink, just relax. And then when you're ready in maybe 20 minutes, then go back to sleep. Remember your bed and your bedroom are for sleeping, so don't use it as a place where you watch TV. Build into your nighttime a good bedtime routine. So this doesn't include any TV or anything that's going to overstimulate your mind. You want to be rested, calm. Try to have your last meal two hours before you go to bed. Minimize caffeine intake. Remember, it takes roughly six hours for caffeine to leave your bloodstream. An ideal room temperature of 17 to 21 Celsius. Control the amount of light in your room, so try and get blackout blinds, or if that isn't possible, maybe a nighttime mask. If you can leave your window open with the right amount of temperature in the room and without much noise, that would also be ideal. Have a shower or bath before bedtime. This will bring the temperature of your body up and then lower it, allowing you to go to sleep more easily. Try some relaxing techniques maybe some meditation, some yoga, some stretching, and any technology that you do have, if it has the function, adjust that to the blue screen option. This will be less stimulating for your eyes. My last one, avoid low calorific diets. So don't be on a diet which doesn't give you enough calories. This will put your body under a lot more stress and actually you'll start to have certain cravings of an evening, this will not help with sleep because your body will want to try and digest the food rather than relaxing and going to bed. So hopefully that was an extensive list and there's some takeaway tips to try and help you with your sleep. If you don't need any help with your sleep, and it's maybe a friend who has suggested that or said that they do not have good sleep, you could suggest to them some of these tips that you've heard on here. Hope that's been useful and helpful. We'll see you again tomorrow.